and a hopefully a little <laughs> accompaniment. So, uh, Bob Dusek, give him a hand. <laughs> One of the things that I think that would be really valuable would be opening up a dialogue with seniors in this province. If we actually did that, I think some of the solutions and some of the ideas that came from seniors would, would be both more effective services and probably services that were not as costly. If you're not working with seniors yourself, it might be hard to understand. But when you get anywhere near my age, you're going to hope that there's other people around that still care. It's about dignity and respect, and it's about always treating people at the way you wish to be treated yourself, and keep that in mind everywhere you go, whatever an age of a person is. I have quality of life right now, because I can get up in the morning, I have a job, I can go and do what I please. When I'm 80, and I no longer work, and I can't get out of bed so easy in the morning, do I, does that mean I'm not still entitled to have the same quality of life that I have now? So I think seniors care is about building communities, it's about supporting people to stay in their home, it's about supporting people when they're in long-term care. None of us want to end our lives sitting alone at home with no one to care. Despite all the wonders of modern medical technology, seniors share with all of us the raw and basic need for dignity and human connection. What I now understand is that this has to be the primary focus of how society looks after our elders and how we think about health care for seniors. Because not only does it treat them as they deserve to be treated, it means we focus on helping seniors to live longer in their homes, to age in caring facilities, and to die in a loving environment.